So this is a tutorial on how to do media source masking in OBS. Um, what I mean by this is say you have a face cam like this and you want it to instead of being a box be a heart or a star. You would use masking to eliminate the portions of the face cam box that you don't want. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to first determine the dimensions of the media source. As I, since you're probably going to be using this for a face cam, that's what I'm going to be using. This webcam that I'm using is the Habit. I'm not sure what the model number is, but it's a um, 640 by 480 webcam. So that's the image size that you want to go with. So I've gone ahead and created this black and white image. Now the black and white is key because the black sections are the parts that are going to be removed and the white sections are the parts that are going to remain. Now, it doesn't have to be a solid image. You could you do a dissolving pixel effect or whatever. I just did this as an easy example. So I've already, I've already saved that file. Now, what you want to do is you want to select a media source. So as I said before, that's the habit. Uh, and you want to right click on it. So right click and then go down to filters. Now, in the effect filters box, you're going to want to hit the plus sign to create a new one and select image mask slash blend. You can name it whatever you want. So just tutorial. Now it should default the type at the top should default to color alpha mask with color channel in parentheses. There are other blend modes, but that's the one we want. Now you want to click on browse and locate on your computer where you saved the file. I already have that done. So I'm going to select star. Ta da! As you can see through the background, we have successfully masked the, the face cam to look like a star. Now, you can do other things, like I have another one here called Staggered Edge, which basically, it's still essentially a box, but it gives it a little bit more of a, you know, thing, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so, but there's other things you can do as well. Um, this function supports gradients so if you were to do a gradient a straight black and white gradient like this one it would damn what the fuck are you doing what the fuck select the box shit um it'll basically just fade in and that's what am i selecting oh my god my bad i was trying to select that <laughs> fucking idiot okay so like, yeah, if we move this down, you see how it fades up from nothing. Um, that, would, that could be useful, especially for people who uh, complain all the time about, you can't see anything behind the face cam. Um, well, there's these are ways that you can help reduce the um, obstruction of your face cams in your streams. Um, but the, another thing that's really cool is this also supports looping GIFs. So say instead of having just a static box, you wanted to have like a wiggling edge, you can do that. Um, click browse and go to test thing, fuck you. I was frustrated when I made this. Now as you can see, I've got this waving effect. Now that's, it's, it's really lame, but I was just trying to make something quick to uh, demonstrate this in the tutorial. And so, that's pretty awesome. Um, now I'm haven't I haven't played around with the audio slash video filters yet. I'm not sure if you could use a video file as your um, masking source, but I let me see. No, that has nothing to do with that. So yeah, basically you'll have to use a GIF for this. Um, and besides, the video wouldn't be looping; it would just stop at some point, and that's crap. You want it to be looping so it's continuous. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, no need for a second program. It's all in OBS. If you're not running the newest version, download the newest version and you can do this. Um, I'm not sure when they implemented it, so you may not be able to, depending on which version you're running. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. Thanks for watching. Have fun with it.